Hello everyone, in our previous lectures we have discussed pointer to variable, pointer to array, pointer to member functions and members of class. Now let us discuss pointer to derived class. So we can use pointers not only to base objects but also to the objects of derived classes. A single pointer variable of base class or you can say base type can point to objects belonging to base as well as derived classes. Here is the example I have created one pointer variable of base class so it will occupy some memory block. Next I am creating an object of base class that will again occupy one memory block with some address. Now I am creating object D of derived class that is derived from base class so it will occupy one memory block with some address. Now if I write and B that is thousand will be stored to pointer so it will point to object of base class so if I write B dot any member function and any member same I can access with pointer and arrow operator but we can make pointer to point to the object of derived class as well so we can write and D that is address of D 2000 and I am storing it in pointer variable PTR now let us see PTR here of type base and we are storing address of type derived in primary data type this would not be allowed but here in this case it will be allowed and here pointer will point to derived class. Let us see the example for more clarity. Here I am having base class with member function so on derived class that is derived from base class and it is also having void show method. Now here you can observe that we have used method overriding because base class and derived class both are having same member function with same name and arguments here i am creating object of base class on pointer variable base pointer now if i write base pointer equals to address of b so if i write b dot show and base pointer arrow operator so both will call member function of base class now i am creating an object of derived class that is D rather than assigning address of base class object I am assigning derived class object now if I write let us change name to distinguish the member functions now I want to call this display member function using this base pointer so if I write this base pointer display it is throwing some error class base has no member named display so note down this statement that if your pointer variable is pointing to derived class object then you can access only members that is derived so you can access this so because it is derived automatically to the derived class you can access so using this base pointer but you cannot access the unique member of derived class so to access this member function we need to convert this base pointer to derived type so we will forcefully cast this base pointer to derived class to access display using pointer of base class I am explicitly converting base pointer to derived class let us write like this derived pointer let us execute this code it will be displaying derived class so here base pointer is externally converted to derived type in that way we can access display member so for pointer to derived class we can say that we can access those members of derived class which are inherited from base class but we cannot access original member of derived class which are not inherited from base class it will throw you error as we have seen in our program so if you want to access original member of derived class you need to create pointer of derived class so this is the way how pointer to derived class works thank you